welcome to another video and um, this one is about content aware fill and if you watched one of my previous videos which is about smart objects it relates a little bit to this because in that one I explained that there are certain things you can't do with smart objects um, because it's not a, a pixelated layer um, we can't really um, a, make adjustments to pixels so we can't do things like dodging and burning we can't clone on it and if you watch the previous um, video, you'll see that there, there's a ways around that and, and the ways we can do that. So I suggest you go and back, if you like, and watch that video first as a bit of a taster and an introduction to smart objects before you watch this one. Um, but in this one, we're going to talk about content aware fill. So if we look at the flat layer, which is not a smart object, um, and we drag that into another document, then we'll just resize that down. And remember, my recommendation is to not use a flat layer, is to use a smart object. But for this purpose, it's it's easy to show you this way. So we're going to drag that into there. And this is a, a 10 by 10 inch 300 DPA document. Um, so we're just going to, and what we want to do is we want to build up some pixels into this area. We want to fill these pixels with some content from this part of the document here. And we want to get some of this mushy bokeh into the top part here. So um, because we're using a, a flat layer, we can just sample the pixels here. And I'm going to show you how you do it with a, 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 a smart layer later. Um, so we just want to sample these pixels in here. So we're going to use a, 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 a tool called the fill tool and it's on your edit menu here it's got this fill and we've also got a content aware fill now so we before we fill anything we've got to select it so we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool just click on that and then we're going to go outside the box here and just drag down and we're just going to take a little bit of the the pixels here we don't want to go too far down we're just going to select some pixels and let Photoshop fill this in here. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the edit and fill. Now, this is the simple version, if you like, of the, of the content aware fill. Uh, we can go to fill and we'll get a little dialog box up here and we can choose content aware fill from there. And we click OK and then we let Photoshop off, go off and do its tricks. And it might take a, a minute or two to uh, sample this. Um, so while it's doing that, you might sit and wait, depending on your computer, you might be sitting and waiting a little while. But it's sampling the pixels around here and it's trying to find the best way to fill them all into this blank area at the top. Now, it's, so it's done that. And you can see here, it's not done a bad job. Um, it's OK. We'd, we'd probably have to clone this little bit out here. But let's say we're not satisfied with that. Let, let's just move this over here and say, well, I'm not really satisfied with that. So I'm going to go edit and undo fill. And this time I'm going to leave the selection as it was. And I'm going to go down to the content aware fill. And what that will do is it will throw up a bigger dialog box for me. And if we just drag this over a little bit here. We can see that we can see the old image. That's all right. And what it's done is it throws this little little dialog box up for me. And we've got a few other options we can use uh, to to fill it. And um, you can have a play about with these fill settings. But the two we're going to look at is the scale. And if we hover over there, it says it tell you exactly what it does. Allow content resizing for better match. Good for filling content with repeating patterns of different sizes or under perspective. And then the mirror, which is allow horizontal flip of the content for a better match. Good for images with horizontal symmetry. So what we're going to do first, we're going to do the scale option. And once you click that, it will go off and do its thing. So you sit back and wait again. And it will uh, it will fill that top part. And obviously, the bigger the file is, the longer this may take. So if you if you're working on quite large files, it 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 can make a difference. Um, 
So you see it's filled there. Now it's put a lot of, lot of other stuff in there, which I'm not quite happy about. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we'll, we'll decide not to do, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the mirror one. So we click mirror and it will go off and do, it will get rid of that scale version and it will replace it with the mirror version. So let's see what we get there. There, that's finished. And you see the mirror version looks a lot better. I'm quite happy with that. That looks quite nice. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be perfect because I may be doing it. I'm going to click OK there. I may be putting a texture over the top of that. So it goes off then and it will do its trick again. And it will fill that in with that mirrored version. And this is one of those tools where you've just got to play about and see what what you want it's really good way say for instance, you've got a table in front of a perhaps a vase of flowers and things like that and you want to extend it out it, it's quite good for doing little little things like filling in areas that that you want to balance a, an image and make it look a little bit more balanced and you you've got something that's too far to the left or the right or whatever you can do that so it's it's quite a good tool so there we are, it's filled that. Now you can see it's left a few little things on the side here, but we can we can um we can we can sort that out with the clone tool. And you see it's created a, a layer copy at the top here. So we're gonna take off the we're gonna deselect the marquee tool, and what we'll probably do is we'll merge the two layers here. So we're gonna merge those two layers, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go off and get the clone tool. And we're just going to take, make sure you've got a soft brush for this. And we're just going to go in and we're just going to clone some of these areas off. We're just going to fill them in a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And um, I'm quite happy with that. So that's the content fill aware on a flat file. And I have to say, let's just go back to that and close that off. Now, if we pull a smart object image into the document, true, and we'll just bring that down. Whilst we've got the advantages of resizing using the smart object, what you saw in the other image was we could just do a direct content aware fill on that so we'll select the marquee tool like we did for the last one and we'll drag it down here but what you will notice is if we go to the edit and the fill and the content aware they're grayed out we can't do the same things on a smart object because we haven't got any pixels available to sample so we'll deselect that the only thing we can do is we can create a copy of that layer which makes it still a, a, a smart object, but we now have to flatten that layer, or basically what we say, we have to rasterize it, which means we turn it into a normal layer, and so it becomes a, a, a regular pixelated layer. And we just do that by right mouse clicking and click rasterize. And what it's done is effectively it's deleted the smart, stopped it from being a smart object. So what that means we can now go to the marquee tool, we can select the pixels that we want to do and we've now got fill stroke content aware fill and so on and so forth so deselect that so that's hopefully gives you some idea of how we can you can use the um, the content aware tool and just be aware that if you use your smart objects there are certain things you can and you can't do but um, the content aware tool is a, a very useful tool if you've got little areas that you just want to fill. And it's worth trying out the different ways that um, it handles the, the pixels for you so that you can get um, a, nice, um, a nice fill on that. So there we are, content aware fill. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Bye bye.